Okay, so super easy eye look. I'm gonna take Huda Beauty's Nude Light Palette. I'm gonna take this color right there that I'm pointing to, and I'm gonna use that as a transition shade just above my crease, just very lightly. Um, not really necessary, but just adds a little bit something to it. So I'm gonna put that into my crease. And then I wanted to try this next shimmery color because it doesn't look pink when I swatched it. It kind of has like gold reflex in it. So I just wanted to try that on the lid. So I just applied that kind of like as a base color a little bit because then I took this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Mighty Morphin and I applied that over. Again, I just wanted to add a little bit more shimmer before I put the glitter on and then I used this Violet Voss glitter. Everything will be listed and linked in the description box. I used a Violet Voss glitter glue first to just apply it all over literally all over even into my crease above my crease just very lightly not a lot of glue and then I went in with the glitter because it has big chunks and small chunks the glitters are all different sizes so it makes it really easy to um, apply this I'm not applying it all over my lid I just want it a little bit lightly all over my lid if that makes sense I don't want it like chunky I just want different like I took some more of the bigger pieces and just added it in spots that where I wanted it to be just so they're different size glitters everywhere I just wanted to do something different than just putting a gold shimmery color on my lid or just plain glitter on my lid so and then I added um, the lash bar lashes now that we have glitter all over everything <laughs> we can continue so the first thing I'm gonna use I just got today it's from Smashbox it's the mindful 5 nourishing lip oil just got this in the mail today so I'm gonna put this on and see what it does while I do my face what is that? they also have a lip balm Ooh, it feels good they also have a lip balm that I tried earlier it feels really really good I'm gonna use a little bit of this glam glow super serum refining treatment I'm just gonna add a little bit to kind of like my oh crap it's dripping everywhere I'm just gonna add a little bit to my cheeks and my forehead. My skin has been breaking out like crazy. Could be a million things, I don't know what it is. So, no use complaining about it. I'm just gonna acknowledge it and move on. <laughs> For primer, I'm gonna use the Dermablend Instagrip Jelly Primer. Really, really, really love this primer. I'm almost out of it. This is a really sticky primer, by the way. It works really good. I need one of those like little face sucker things and I just put this in my T-zone. Is where it like sucks your face. Has anybody used one? I was thinking about buying one from Amazon, but do they really work? You see how like, see that? Super sticky. Not in a bad way though. I really like it. I'm gonna use the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. I'm in the color 2.16. So I kind of just put it in the center and then I'm gonna blend it out. I have a lot of issues going on with my face right now. For concealer, I'm going to take the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer. I am in the shade number 9 is what I'm going to use. really like this one. I just feel like I haven't found the right color for me. know what I wanted to try I have this little baby microfiber sponge right here I wanted to try that I'm gonna take a small concealer brush from Sigma and just cover up a couple of these guys right here this is from Juno and Co I did like the bigger one the way it blended out but I just thought it was too big I don't know if I could do this with this little thing. Oh, I guess. I guess it's nice, just a little harder than I like. Definitely much easier to get around the eyes than the other one.
To set that, I'm going to take, whoa, to set that, I'm going to use Huda Beauty's Pound Cake setting powder. I really hate the net that comes with. I'm going to switch sponges and that under my eyes. I'm also going to take a little bit and set my forehead. And then before I go on to, before I move on to bronzer, I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation, a sponge that has glitter all over it. A sponge, I'm just gonna go over everything. It's because my skin is so bad right now. Yeah, this color, I think I need to get another color. Bronzer, I'm gonna take Milani's Baked Bronzer in Dol Dolce. Dolce? <laughs> this is number nine. I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild little, I don't know, it's from the Pac Man collection. I don't want to put too much. Forehead is just so bad right now. It just does not look smooth at all. It has so much texture. I'm going to take a little bit of Benefits Hula Bronzer. To do my nose real quick. I want to try to film a New Year's Eve look. Hopefully, I can get it up in time. Oh, what did I, oh, for blush, I just got this blush. It's from Ciate London, Marbled Light in Dusk. We're on the pink side, so I'm gonna take it really lightly. I mean, pink blushes technically work really well with my skin color, but I don't really like pink. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of setting powder. I need a lot. And then I mean we're just really going in right now. <laughs> also gonna take it on my nose. Maybe the bottom. And my smile lines. Not too much. It's the Laura Mercier because it's not really um it's the matte radiance baked powder highlighter in zero one. I really like this one for like a softer highlight. It's not like bam in your face. It's a really pretty like natural highlighter, but it can be built up for sure. It's really, really pretty. I'm gonna take this Benefit Bad Gal Bang matte, um, eyeliner in brown and I'm just gonna go a little bit in the waterline. Go back into the Huda palette and I'm gonna take a little bit of this color right here, this bottom color, and just run it under my lower lash line. Go back with the I'm gonna go back with that highlighter and just put a little bit on the inner corners of my I'm rubbing it off, I'm kind of mixing it in with everything else. Now I'm gonna spray just to make everything kind of melt into my skin. I'm gonna spray the ColourPop Pretty Fresh, Pretty Fresh Mist. I really love the smell of this. It kind of reminds me of like the beach or something. 
I think I'm going to use this Huda um, Power Bullet just because I really love these formulas. I don't know. We'll see. First, I'm going to line my lips with Cherry Lip, Gloss, Lip Liner from MAC. 